guys welcome back good morning good afternoon good evening whatever time it is when you're watching this um i am doing another coffee and color with kk today okay and yeah i have a lot of products that i just want to play with you know being a makeup lover being a makeup collector a makeup tester trier youtuber all of that um i have a lot of stuff so I really want to play around in some stuff that's new to me not necessarily new to the market but it's new to me and I want to test it out I got this cute little mug from my girl Lily from Lily living life okay she bought these mugs for me her and DJ so we can all have the same mugs very cute I know so anyways yes I'm gonna do a full face with you guys today and the palette that I'm gonna play around with today is this BH Cosmetics Color Festival palette. I know it's been out for a hot minute and it's been sitting on my shelf looking at me like, Camille, are you gonna use me? Are you gonna use me? So this is what this palette looks like. I know, you know, Hot Girl Summer is almost over. <laughs> But we're going to do a look with this palette today and maybe I'll try and tone it down a bit by using some of these shimmers, darker shimmers over here with a deep crease. Okay, maybe I won't do a bright look today. My eyes are actually a little bit stained. I don't know if you can see it's a little bit of red and purple left over from me playing in those Pinky Rose palettes the other day. Okay, so yeah got a little stainage going on but anyway that's the palette that I'm playing with today the foundation that I'm trying out today is a Sephora foundation I never even think about trying out Sephora like complexion products foundations concealers powders and stuff but I really want to try them out so I figured I'd start out with this foundation this is the matte perfection foundation and I chose the color cappuccino so this is what she looks like and I did, you know, swatch it in the store to see how this color would look. And my daughter was like, yeah, that looks pretty good, mom. So try it out. So um, those are the two main new things. I also got Rich Luxe's uh, setting spray. This one is the cream sickle. I bought the whole little kit that has the cream sickle, the mint chocolate, and then the little sample mint chocolate that comes with the little... Um, what do you call it the little box let me get it okay so this <laughs> this is what his um setting sprays come in and i don't know if you're familiar with rich lux he's hilarious he's a drama channel with his conspiracy allegedly theories or whatever so he's just somebody that's fun to watch and he cracks me up so i decided to go ahead and support him so i did pick up his setting sprays and you see on here it says busted the house ice cream shack he's a hot mess so it's a collab with gerard cosmetics and it's really cute because they all come in this cute little package you get the two full size and the one mini and here's a cute little picture of rich lux right there <laughs> with his dramatic self so anyways i just thought this was like so cute and i had to have it y'all know so it comes with the mint chip I believe it is yeah so it is the slay all day mint chocolate chip setting spray and this is the slay all day cream sickle and you do get a smaller mint chocolate chip which I'm sure I throw it in my travel bag somewhere because I don't know where it's at but I want to try these out today as well so anyways let me just go ahead and first of all start out by hydrating my face I mean I'm already washed and clean and stuff but I just I like to hydrate there's just never too much hydration so I'm using my pixie hydrating milky mist spray and I did pick this up at Beautycon it was on sale for ten dollars so I did grab one and this one actually has hyaluronic acid in it very cool I'm also going in with some of my OK, and this is the Chalk Chalk Glowing Moisturizer as well. So I'm just gonna put some of this on my face. You have to moisturize, you guys. You do not want to be going in, putting a whole bunch of makeup on 
some dry crusty skin okay so skincare is very important you know cleansing exfoliating serums moisturizers and when you get my age it's a whole plethora of products that we slather all over our face before we go to bed just so we don't wake up looking like the crib keeper okay <laughs> so yeah your girl loves to moisturize okay and this stuff smells and feels amazing okay and for my lips i'm just going in with some of my vaseline intensive care lip therapy why i can't get this thing open i guess i'll be using something else on my lips oh there it goes okay and so it's just kind of like lightly pink it's really just vaseline with lip therapy stuff in it but it feels really good so Y'all ain't gotta look at no crusty lips for this whole video, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, throw on some brows. Anybody got time to be doing all that on camera? So I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Brow Pomade for my brows. I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Concealer in Dark Cocoa to clean them up. And then I'm going to prime my lids for our shadow with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. And I think I have a color chestnut, no, caramel. This is caramel, so I'm gonna prep my lids with that. And then we'll come back and get going with this eye look. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Got me some brows on. They looking like distant cousins today, but it's all good. Got my lids prepped. And we're gonna jump into this palette. I'm gonna do some quick swatches for you guys. Sometimes I forget to do swatches when I'm just trying to hurry up and do a look. But I'm gonna go ahead and do some quick swatches for you guys, and then we will move forward. Okay, so honestly you guys this palette did not swatch too bad it's actually very pretty I mean some of the matte shades are a little you know they swatched a little light little dusty but these shimmers oh my gosh are super duper pretty and I'm really kind of feeling this one right here it's kind of like looks like it has like a green shift to it so yeah I might just do some crease work and throw that on my lid to keep it simple today but this is what this palette is looking like kind of pretty kind of pretty okay you guys so I think I'm gonna start out with this first shade here which looks like DJ go DJ <laughs> go DJ so I'm gonna take that and put that in my crease area Not too bad, very nice, very nice. I don't typically go in with browns and stuff, but this color is actually very pretty, very pretty. Okay, so I think I'm going to try to buff out the edge of that using this shade here. Nah, I don't wanna use that, cause I wanna use that green. Oh, that might look pretty though. You know what, let's try something different. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with Groove this pretty coral shade here, and I'm going to use that to buff out that brown a little bit. Mm. I mean, it's, 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 it's buffing it out a bit, but it's a little, little dusty, a little dusty. <laughs> Okay, so those two colors blended in pretty nicely together. I'm actually a little surprised at how that pretty coral shade is showing up, but it's all good. So we're gonna keep it simple, I think. <laughs> I wanna go ahead and go into that pretty shimmery shade that has the green shift. It says center stage. So I'm just gonna put some of that all over my lid. Uh, am I gonna wet my brush? I'm gonna try it without wetting my brush first. See what happens. Okay, it's pretty. Well, let me see what it looks like if I spray my brush. Oh, 
okay that made a difference <laughs> it made a difference it's pretty I like that that's really pretty and this <laughs> slay all day cream sickle spray it smells so good <laughs> I sprayed it to wet my brush and it smelled like candy. Hello. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into that brown shade that I started out with and just kind of tap that on the outer corner. See if I can bring this look together. So I'm gonna keep this eye look pretty simple. I'm gonna throw in some eyeliner and then we'll move on to the face. guys so one of the new products that I want to try is this elf primer serum and it says that it's blurring so it comes in a cute little package like this I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it but I don't think it was more than ten dollars knowing me <laughs> so yeah I want to try this out elf has so many new products and I like a lot of elf products more so skincare and face products their eyeshadows and stuff not so much so i want to try this out and see what happens so it has this cute little pump oh and it's kind of it's kind of thick actually hmm okay it feels nice and i could see how it would be a priming serum because um it kind of feels a little bit like they're blurring primer or should I say pore filling primer yeah their pore filling primer is not as thick and I could tell it's gonna leave my face feeling a little bit tacky so when are you too old to succumb to peer pressure <laughs> and the reason I ask is because if you are a regular viewer of mine you probably noticed that I have some new face jewelry okay I have this new nose ring. I mean, granted, yeah, I wanted to try one out basically my whole adult life and have never done so. But, you know, you start hanging out with your girlfriends, you guys are chilling, having a good time. Next thing you know, you have a hole in your nose, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> so, I blame this on my friends. Okay, so, I mean, it feels... It felt good going on. It went on pretty smoothly. Yeah, and my face, it doesn't feel tacky, but I definitely can feel something on there. So we'll see how this works out. It has no scent to it. I don't smell anything. Yeah, so, I mean, it feels pretty good, actually. Not too bad. Okay, so for the foundation today, I'm going to use this Sephora Matte Perfection Foundation in the shade Cappuccino. And I think I'm gonna go in with a sponge. I'm not gonna do any color correcting or concealer because I wanna see how the coverage is on its own first. So it just comes in this tube. It has a little safety seal on here. And I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit out so you can see what it looks like. So this is what the color Cappuccino looks like. And it's very thick, as you can see, very thick. So. I'm just going to squeeze a decent amount out. Y'all know I'm a full coverage type of chick, okay? And I'm gonna go in with my sponge and see what happens today. Yeah, this stuff is very, very thick. Ooh, chow. I don't know about this color, y'all. <laughs> we gonna check it out. know I have to see how or if it oxidizes at all as far as knowing whether or not it's a good color match for me because in some instances it looks a little bright a little yellow some it looks a little orange we'll have to see but I wanted to typically I do half of my face so that you can see the coverage like you can see okay all the issues I have on my skin and this is what the foundation looks like when it's on So it's definitely, <laughs> definitely full coverage. Um, it's extremely matte. It's not uncomfortably matte, but 
you know, there's a, a small amount of transfer. Yeah, small amount of transfer so far pre-powder. But yeah, it is mad matte. And I still have quite a bit left on my hand. So I didn't use that whole squeeze. I only used about half of it. So yeah, it's pretty full coverage. So let me go ahead and finish up this face and see what happens, okay? <laughs> with this foundation, with it being so matte, you definitely need to make sure and blend it out very, very well. If you're gonna use a sponge, of course, I'm not sure with a brush how it would be, but if you're using a sponge like me, make sure you go around your whole face and blend it out really well because it is super matte and it dries down fairly quickly. So that was just one coat and you can see this is some serious coverage, serious coverage. Now, my dark areas around my mouth, I'm going to place just a little bit more to see if I can, you know, cover those up a little bit better prior to concealer. Okay, so for coverage, you guys, I'm giving this an A because <laughs> the coverage is crazy. For the color match, it's about a C because it's looking a little orange to me. You know, it's kind of hard to tell when you're looking on camera and in these bright lights and stuff, but she is looking a little orange to me, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and help that out with my concealer and powder and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go in with some of my Makeup Revolution concealer. I don't even feel like I really need to powder with how matte this foundation is, but of course I'm going to, cause honey, I do not not powder. So now I'm just going to take some of my Collab Loose Setting Powder for under my eyes and around my mouth. And I'm just gently setting. I'm not baking or anything like that. Just gently setting. Okay, now I'm just going to gently set with a little bit of my e.l.f. powder just because I'm scared to not set my whole face. So I'm just gonna use a little bit though. Not a lot, just a little. And yes, my coffee is cold. <laughs> but it's still good. I'm drinking some Colombian coffee. Very tasty. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe Glamour Bronze in the color Phenom because I do need to warm up my face a bit. My hair is all over the place. <laughs> Whatever. We all family, right? Y'all, I am going to be bronzed all winter long because all fall long because I am not gonna stop using my bronze. <laughs> I don't care if hot girl summer is over. I'm gonna have a hot girl fall and a hot girl winter, all of that, okay? Now I was going to use my CoverGirl Full Spectrum Bronzer to contour with. As you can see, this is like mad dark. I was going to use it to contour with, but I don't feel like being that extra today. So we're gonna chill on that. Now I do have a new blush. This is a Sephora blush. And which one is this? This one is 04 Snapdragon. Very pretty. That's what the packaging looks like on the back. And this is what she looks like on the inside. So she's kind of like a duo type situation, a light side, a dark side. I don't know. They look so pretty in Sephora to me that I just wanted to try one out. Okay, so we're gonna try this today, Snapdragon. Ooh, okay. Pretty, hello Snapdragon, okay. She's pretty. Nicely pigmented like the um, NYX blushes, but very blendable and buildable. So I like that. Can y'all see that? You see that nice little blush there? It's pretty. 
And y'all, I do like to put a little bit of blush on my nose. Just a tiny bit on my forehead and chin. It might seem a little weird, but I like to bring that aspect of color like on the rest of my face. Kind of like if I was suntan or sunburnt. <laughs> I like to add a little color into those same areas that the sun would typically burn or tan. So I like this so far. It's very pretty, very, very pretty. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette today. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this color today. So I'm gonna use this one down here. I want to put a little bit of this same highlighter on my brow bone today since I'm keeping this look simple I may as well add a little bit of bling up here that highlight is pretty very pretty it's nice and subtle yeah I don't know what was going on with my hair so I had to just kind of fluff it out because it was doing its own thing Okay, so since I'm keeping this eye look simple, let's go ahead and finish her up. Now I'm going back into this palette and- You know I what? I, I don't know. I kind of want to go into this shade here. It's kind of like a pinky red shade called Sequins. Hopefully it don't look too crazy. Okay. going to take the brush that I used earlier with that coral shade just to kind of blow that pink out a little bit and I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of black eyeliner so I'm going to use my Urban Decay Glide On Eyeliner and this is just a black eyeliner okay, and of course I have to go in for an inner corner highlight for that pop so I think I'm going to go into this shade here this super bright gold, which is EDM, and place that in my inner corner. That is really pretty. That gold really popped, and I think with that green, it looks really, really pretty. I like that, very nice. I am pleasantly surprised at this little color festival palette because, you know, typically I would go in with the blues and the reds and all that stuff, but I really like this pretty green lid with the gold pop. Very nice, I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with some of my Thrive Cosmetics mascara and then we'll finish up with these lips. Okay, and for my lips, you guys, I wanna go in with my ColourPop BFF4 Lip Liner. So I'm going in with the It's My Ray Ray. Smells good. Okay, so she's really pretty and I feel like I can put a gloss on top. So I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Gloss Neat Free. This applicator is horrible. It's like barely anything coming out. I should just use my Fenty Gloss Bomb. <laughs> but that's a, pretty, a really pretty combination. I like it. Very, very pretty. It's like a, a glossy nude. Not too bad. Okay, so let's go in with some of this Rich Lux Slay All Day Cream Sickle uh, Setting Spray. I have a tendency to use too much spray. We'll see how this setting spray goes, but it smells really good. It smells like you're spraying candy on your face. <laughs> it smells good. So I think that today's look turned out pretty nice. Um, I like the eyeshadow palette as far as the foundation goes. I will have to wear it, check it out. I'll give you an update in my next video, but I think it looks nice. I think the color worked out well with 
my other products that I use all the time so that's a plus I can feel it on my face it's not super duper heavy but that matteness I can feel it and I will probably go in and spray like some of my oil of Olay hydrating mist or something just to keep me a little more hydrated because it is very matte but it doesn't look super duper drying at all. I actually really like it. The coverage is really good. What is going on here? What is going on? Whatever. <sighs> yeah, but the color, the color is nice. The coverage is nice. Um, For me, you know, when I'm testing out foundations, I don't really trip off of my pores and stuff too much because I've used several different primers and none of them really fill my pores i don't care what they say but for the coverage and the finish it's not bad i was a little concerned because it was so matte but it's actually not that bad you guys it's really not so yeah i'm gonna check it out today see what's popping and then i will give you guys an update but hopefully you guys enjoyed this coffee and color with kk today i had fun trying out some new items seeing what's happening and for the most part i like the stuff i tried okay so thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next video toodles